Too many brown and black people go to jail. Too many poor people lack decent representation in a system where the quality of justice often varies with the quality of your lawyer. There is a lot wrong with justice in America. But one of the things that has been right with American justice is the reality and reputation built by the United States Department of Justice over generations. Across those decades, and especially in the nearly five decades since Watergate, justice employees came to be seen as a people apart, still flawed in all the ways humans are flawed, but somehow different and trustworthy. They could be trusted to sort out the most difficult situations, to investigate politicians, to wade into painful racial strife, to find and tell the American people the truth. If Justice Department employees are no longer seen as something separate in American life, we are all less safe. If jurors, judges, victims, witnesses, communities, and cops come to see them as part of a political tribe and so trust them less, something essential is lost. Donald Trump, aided by his Attorney General, William P. Barr, severely undermined the nation's trust in the Department of Justice. Trump wasn't good at much, but he had an extraordinary ability to relentlessly cut at people and institutions he saw as threats. His death-by-a-thousand-lies approach was initially frustrated by his first attorney general, Jeff Sessions, who, for all his flaws, held to long-standing norms. He wouldn't order prosecutions the president wanted, and he stepped aside from the investigation of Russian interference because he had been a key member of the Trump campaign. When Trump fired Sessions, his replacement, Bill Barr, showed no such sensitivity to the department's values. From the beginning, Barr echoed the president, aping his dishonest characterizations of the department's work and appearing to respond to President Trump's self-interested demands for investigations and prosecutions. The Department of Justice was damaged by that. It was damaged again when the Attorney General misled the American people about the work of the special counsel investigating the president, and again when the Attorney General intervened in a case involving one of the president's friends to overrule the sentencing recommendation of career prosecutors, and again, when the Attorney General intervened in an effort to drop a case in which a political ally of the President had already pleaded guilty twice. If we are to be a healthy nation, the damage must be repaired. This book is an attempt to help with that vital task, to remind Americans of how the institutions of justice should work and how their leaders should behave. I've had the good fortune to work in government in Republican and Democratic administrations. As a junior federal prosecutor, a United States attorney, a Justice Department official, and the director of the FBI, and will share stories from my work that illuminate the vital core values of American justice and why we must overcome and repair the corrosive damage Trump and his underlings have done with dishonesty, cronyism, political payback, and amorality. I started my career in the Department of Justice as a federal prosecutor in Manhattan, where I handled many cases over six years and learned searing lessons from my supervisors, my colleagues, and my own mistakes about the Justice Department's obligation to tell the whole truth at all times, to force witnesses to do the same, and to care more about doing justice than winning. Next. Three years as a private lawyer at a law firm taught me how hard defense work is and reminded me that government prosecutors don't have a client in the normal sense of that word. Instead, they represent the idea of justice. When I then returned to the Department of Justice as a federal prosecutor in Virginia for six more years, I still prosecuted cases and learned that part of telling the truth is keeping promises, but my work was increasingly about leading others in the department about the bigger picture of our impact on communities. I came to see that public trust in the Department of Justice was everything. Without it, we couldn't do the essential work of keeping people safe. And to foster that trust, it wasn't enough just to tell the truth in courtrooms. We were obligated to be transparent, to tell our fellow citizens what we were doing and why. When I became the chief federal prosecutor in Manhattan after 9-11, and then the number two person, the Deputy Attorney General, at the Department of Justice in Washington. I learned that a vital part of maintaining...